What's going on, guys? We are protesting on their treatment at the hands of the chiropractic overlords. What's a chiropractic? A chiropractor is a doctor who treats the back and spine. And we are not going to take the injustice they deal any longer. Oh, I don't have a spine. I'm a sponge. So I guess I can't join you guys. You are speaking the nonsense. We are all invertebrates at this rally. None of us have spines. Oh, well then what good is a chiropractor? You are missing the point. We are protesting their right to see this chiropractic charlatan. None of us actually want to see him. We just want their right to do so. Patrick, this sounds like a job for two men. Squidward and Mr. Krabs? Uh, no. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy? Nope. I give up, I give up! You and me, Patrick! It is our duty as men to help these people iron out their differences. Oh! You just reminded me of something really important! What's that? I think I left the iron on at home. <sighs> so we have decided to help you come to an agreement. Take me to your leader. Ha <laughs> ha! Marius, get a load of the yellow one. He wants to see Octavio. Ha 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 As if anyone off the street can demand to see Octavio. Octavio? Yes. He is a generalissimo of the invertebrates. And he does not see just anybody. He is a busy man. He does not have time to cheat chat with the riffraff. Does he have time to fiddle faddle with the flim flam? I do not ask him about his personal business. So what would I need to do to get to see Octavio? Well, I would need proof that you are serious about helping our cause. If you could bring a piece of a ring from the despicable Dr. Louis, then I think we could do business. I'm on it! Okay, I'm gonna go. Viva la Revolution! Good afternoon, ma'am. Hi. Can I help you? Here to see the doctor. That's nice. Do you have an appointment? Not as such. Hmm, well, he's a pretty busy guy. Let me see what I can do. What's your name? SpongeBob SquarePants. No, seriously. SpongeBob SquarePants. Do your parents not like you? They love me. Why? Just curious. Anyway, what species are you? I'm a sponge. A sponge, huh? Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Squarepants, but Dr. Louis is a chiropractor. Yep. Well, a chiropractor deals with bones. The backbone, or spine. Uh-huh. Well, how can I put this? You are an invertebrate. Yep. So, you have no spine, no bones. How can you be treated by a back doctor if you have no back? Very carefully? No, I'm sorry. Unless you have a spine, you cannot see Dr. Louie. Barnacles. Isn't there any way I can see Dr. Louie? Yeah, there is a way. Get a spine. Then I'll pencil you in. Good day to you, ma'am. Bye. Yes, Patrick? I think I'm gonna stay out here. Okay, okay, have it your way. Wait here, I won't be long. That sea urchin won't miss one little spine. He's got hundreds.
Hi, it's me again. I could tell because my heart went all a flutter. So, guess who has a spine? Not you. You're a sponge. Wrongo. What is this? Uh, it's a sea urchin spine. Exactly. So let me in. I'm gonna see the doctor. You have missed the point entirely. Patrick, did not this kind lady say earlier that if I got a spine, I could see Dr. Louie? She did, she did, I heard her. And I do believe this is a spine. Ergo, therefore, and thusly, you should honor your word. Ugh, oh, I don't get paid enough for this. Fine, give me a moment. Patrick, we are quite possibly the smartest creatures living under the sea. Did you see her? She was all confused. <laughs> it must be hard being so stupid. Whoa, wait a minute. We live under the sea. Okay. You can see Dr. Louie now. Hooray! Hiya, Doc! Hello. And what seems to be the problem? I spoke with a member of the revolution, and he said that if I could bring him a peace offering, he'd help me reach Octavio. Really? That's good news. Got anything I can bring him? Mm, you can take my stethoscope. You think that'll do? Maybe. Thanks. Mon dieu, don't scare me with your infectious happiness. I got a peace offering from the doctor. Hmm, this will do just fine, I believe. I will tell you the password to get past Dr. Bio's personal guard, but it will not be enough. You will need to wear the outfit of La Revolution. Talk to my friend Marius. He has an extra one. Okay, what's the password? The password is... Sticks and stones can't break our bones, cause we don't have any. More like a passphrase, really. Whatever. Hi there, big fella. You want something? No? Your friend over there said that you had an extra black turtleneck that I could wear. I do. You can have it, but I'm afraid it won't fit. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna go. Viva la revolution! Shopkeeper? Hey. Take me to the leader. I have the password and the uniform. What's the password? Sticks and stones can't break our bones because we don't have any. Correct. Viva la revolution. 
Octavio is down the ladder in the back. Thanks. We finally meet. Apparently. SpongeBob comes with a peace offering from Dr. Louie. He wants to offer you his services. Right now, he's trapped in his office. He's afraid Marius is going to step on him. <laughs> he just might. So you are telling me Dr. Louie is prepared to treat invertebrates? Yes, and he gave me this stethoscope to give to you as a sign of peace. A stethoscope, huh? Uh, yeah? Dr. Louie offers his noble adversary Octavio a stethoscope? Uh, well... This is momentous. This is like a warrior offering up his trident. Perhaps Octavio misjudged Dr. Louie. I must set up a meeting with this man at once. You! I'm sure, Jello Bon. Octavio offers his heartfelt thanks. Without you, who knows what madness we might have descended into. Hey, SpongeBob is more than happy to help. A thousand thanks. I will go meet this great healer at once. Viva la revolution. Proving that no good deed goes unpunished, Dennis the Hitman catches up with SpongeBob and Patrick. Not so Just fast. when it seems that they will be crushed on the foot, a giant boot crushes Dennis, saving our heroes. But it is out of the frying pan and into the fire, as this mysterious benefactor of a foot turns out to be a hideous giant cyclops. The Cyclops easily capture SpongeBob and Patrick, who heroically pass out immediately. When they regain consciousness, it doesn't take much to realize that they are in a load of trouble. Help them escape their most dangerous predicament yet. <laughs> 